Welcome to our apartment. Come on in. Let me show you around. This is our kitchen. We live here in Zhongshan District in Taipei. It's centrally located and it's a really beautiful area of the city with universities, political buildings, and a lot going on, and a lot of food options. However, we have a kitchen, and we're really fortunate to have a kitchen because not many apartments here in Taipei have kitchens. We even have a stove, oven, microwave, and all that. We have this because we're living with roommates, and we made the trade-off to live with roommates to get all of this. All right? Also, check out over here. This is our laundry balcony. Typically in Taipei here, in Taiwan, laundry is done outside in a balcony area like this. It's open, but closed off up at the top. Um, yeah, and then we have, then everything dries, just the laundry machine, everything dries, air dry like that. All right, let's head back this way. All right, follow us this way. We're gonna check out our living space. We have a pretty big living space here which is kind of unusual for Taiwan. Um, we aren't completely sure why we lucked out with it, but Taiwan and Taipei typically has bigger spaces than most Asian countries. So this isn't completely off base. We also have a wonderful balcony up here. It is a beautiful bright sunny day. This is sort of what you can see outside here. Typical residential area in a lot of these one, two, three, four, five, six story buildings throughout Taipei. Uh, we live on the fourth story of a five story building here in Taiwan. Now, four, se, is considered an unlucky number because se also means death in Chinese. In some apartment buildings, they don't even have a four on the elevator. All right, let's go check out the bedroom. We have a washroom with a western style toilet and a shower as well. Great water pressure, really best water pressure I've ever seen. Outside of our bedroom, we have a really nice little office space here which we use sometimes for new members work and inside the room. This is our bedroom, desk over on this side, storage space here and storage space down here. Um, here's our nomad bears wall with all of our organization for future episodes and everything that's going to be coming out. So in Taipei, we're paying for, we're paying about $18,000 a month, which is above average for the city. You can easily get get closer to 11,000 or 9,000 now with two people and we're living relatively centrally in the city. Um, that comes to about 600 Canadian, 400 American dollars a month, which compared to Toronto, compared to big cities is a really good price. Um, we are also paying for internet and for utilities, which are water and electricity. And we're splitting that with the other two people who live in the apartment with us. Uh, so that comes to about $1,300 a month for internet, which is about $45 to $50 American every month. Um, so relatively cheap, very high, very fast, high speed internet here. So it's a great place to work abroad and a great place to live abroad. So I hope this showed you a little bit about type about where we used to live in Taipei and what it's like to live here. Hello and thank you for watching our videos. Well, we're grinding away here at Nomad Bears to keep creating wonderful content for you and create great coffee for us. We'd love if you could check out more of our videos on YouTube, our content on our blog, and also our Patreon account. Patreon. Let us know what you think in the comments below and remember to subscribe down below for more great content from Nomad Bears.